How do I make chipboard die cut pieces? My name is Karen Slowinski, and I'm gonna show you what I like to do with dies. So this is the Thanks and Beyond dies. It's in our online exclusives, and it has some really great elements, but I'm gonna be using this Thanks die. And so sometimes it's really nice to have this popped up, but because they're kind of thin, I like to turn them into chipboard. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I've cut out five layers of it. Um, it depends on um, how big of a chipboard thickness you want. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of glue, and then I'm going to stick these together. And I like using this little um, applicator for my glue. Um, it is something that I give when you buy my adhesive kit. But I like it because it's really precision control. So then I'm just gonna layer these together. And because you're using glue, you can wiggle them around. So I'm gonna continue uh, la layering these together. And then I'm gonna show you a card I made with the final result. So now I have my five layers all stuck together and you can see the thickness that I have here. So it's really nice when you put this on a card because it gives you a really firm um, sentiment here because it's not gonna get squished. So this is a card that I have made using that same technique. I just did it in a different color. So I'm gonna turn it over again. You can see the thickness that I have here and it is not gonna get squished. So this is a great thing when you're mailing something that is a die cut piece. You could do it with labels, you could do it with um, the, this butterfly if you wanted, just about anything, you can stack them together. And another great tip is that you can use scrap paper because underneath, no one is gonna see. So if you did some stamping that you didn't like, you could go ahead and cut that up and put it in the layers, nobody's gonna know. So that's my tip, how do I make die, uh, chipboard die cut pieces?